Hey, what's up everyone? It's Church. Uh, back with another tutorial here. This one's for a pretty simple Colossus. There are a few things that are important to know to increase your time here. Well, to decrease technically, I guess. Um, they're, they're very slight time saves, but if you can do them, then you might as well do them. So uh, I'm just going to go over a few of those here. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it from the beginning here. Obviously the first thing you do is you whistle, then you pull out your bow. I jump down the stairs, I think it's faster. Uh, so Kuro has actually like a few patterns. Uh, I think there's three different ones, but so when you whistle, there's three different speeds that Kuro could actually like get to the wall. Uh, there's really fast like this one then there's like two slower ones one or two slower ones All you need to know is that there's a fast one and a slow one um, for the most part So what you do here is I kind of was struggling because Kuro was already all the way up the wall But you want to aim in like this general vicinity here Because that's where Kuro is going to be at the max height and stop if you're feeling a little ballsy uh, which you know this is just tips for like either beginners or um you know maybe things that are little time saves that not everyone does so the first one the first big one uh would be if, if you aim right here this is where crow's leg is going to be when it stopped and that's the max distance that Kuro will fall meaning that that is the longest amount of time that Kuro will be on the ground and available to stab so if you will shoot Kuro, so let's say like I back up the video a little bit. So say I got here where I'm at and Kuro was doing a slow pattern. And so Kuro was down here and so I was aiming here like ready to shoot before it even reached the peak. If I shot right here and Kuro fell, uh, Kuromori would not be at, like disabled for as long of a time. So it's a lot more lenient just to wait a few seconds, you know, to, to do that. But if you're fast with it and if you're confident, then there's no reason, you know, why you couldn't uh, hit Kuro off early. So, so I get my aim right. I shoot the two arrows. Um, you Generally, you wait a second after you shoot the arrows. Then you can just jump off because Kuro falls faster than you do. So you bounce off right here. So this is something actually that I kind of want to switch to another source here for. Um, because I want to show you how to like properly end Kuro. So what I wasn't able to do for some reason uh, was cycle stab on Kuromori. Just wh while trying to record these. I don't know why. Uh, I'm not really doing anything different than I normally would have done. So I have to like make sure that I'm not just like doing something wrong. But here's what you should be doing. Uh, I do have another source available for this. So this is like my PB. Um, what I do here after I shoot Koromori, well, yeah. After I shoot Koromori, I jump off like normal. Everything looks like just like it did before. But this is what's known as cycle stabbing. Uh, I think I get it. No, I didn't get it that time. So I try to reposition. So I got it that time. And it allows you to stab a lot faster. I skipped way too far back. So if you notice, what I'm trying to do is get as close to like the brim as possible. And stab. So what I do here, I'm going to actually slow it down so you can see a little better. Is this my... Okay, so this is the second stab. So I'll go ahead and slow it down quite a bit so you can see. So what I do, I stab here. And then I let the ricochet... What? 
Nor what normally happens is when you stab, your sword gets like stuck, and there's like an animation where you have to pull it out. What this does, instead, you're hitting a spot on the Colossus where that doesn't happen, and instead you can immediately let go of the grab button and the stab button, and then reapply yourself. And what I do is I run back up to make sure I get the same spot. So you can see right here, uh, let me go back. So you can see after the second stab, I run up again just so I could get in the same spot for another similar stab. And then I can immediately just run to this sigil. And then I can just play the rest out from here. I missed my stab there, that's kind of funny. So an important thing to note is I actually messed up there and I lost time. If just a little bit, uh, what you should do is you should guarantee yourself that you're saving time by just doing two and a half stabs on each sigil instead of three full stabs. That's an, like a common mistake I see. Um, it only takes two and a half. So what you want to do for this last one is you want to prep it with, uh, with one full stab and then one half stab and then just do a jump stab so you get your full damage in there and that time save. It's not a whole lot, but again, these are small optimizations that could lead to to nice results. I think I actually do it in the other video. So I do one stab. Yeah, I do about a half a stab and then a jump stab. It saves just a little bit of time. You're guaranteed, if you do it that way, even if you're slow with the stabs, you're guaranteed like under 50. Uh, if you're fast with the stabs, you could get 40. Another thing you can do actually that I should have done, well, maybe. It depends if you get the cycle stab. But uh, you could line yourself up. Let's see. What I tried to do here after this stab is I tried to line myself up to where once I stabbed you could cancel your your like the sword pull out animation with a roll so if you line yourself up right you could just stab and roll but for some reason I just wasn't able to get it um, yeah and then you just finish out but it takes like under under 50 seconds even if you're like somewhat slow with it so it's a good around it's it's a good strat to do to get around like 45 seconds if you do everything optimally all right and that was the Kuramori video so uh, if you have any like questions or anything you can leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer thanks for watching